That is unfortunate. <laughs> Hey guys, Mad Hatter here. Today I have Abby here with me, and we're gonna be doing some spray paint art, such as this artwork, um, how I make it, and what steps do I use. So this is printer paper, and you can see the difference between this one and that one. <laughs> that was my first attempt, this is my second attempt after I found out that printer, not printer paper, poster, poster board paper um, is the way to go. Another really important fun fact about spray painting is the type of spray paint you use. So this one, I just used any spray paint that I bought out of the store. I didn't really pay attention to the, yeah, same with that one. Didn't pay attention to the labels, so you don't really get that glossy effect like you get in this one. So this is like really shiny and glossy. How to get this glossiness is Rust-Oleum spray paint. What else? Don't do it with your garage door closed or you'll get heart murmurs. <laughs> yeah, a little backstory. Uh, I was spray painting with my garage door closed and literally suffocating myself. Uh, and then I started getting all these heart murmurs and I was like, hey, I should probably open the garage door. And if you guys really want a texture feel, look at that. Wow. Newspaper texture is amazing. Not even balancing my camera because we're going outside, but Abby and I are going to be doing some spray painting. Uh, we tried to do it yesterday. The outcome wasn't the best. We learned some new tricks. So we're going to go ahead and do that again with fire this time. The reason I'm making this video is because I've had multiple people message me and come to me and say, how do you make your spray paint paintings? And this is to show you guys how I make it. And they aren't the best because I just started doing it, but I've just had a lot of questions of people asking how I do it. So this is really the struggle. This is so painful. Do you see how sweaty my hands are? This is, I didn't ask for this life. This is my poster board, glossy side up, $1 office depot. Yeah, that one's way better actually. Okay, we got this one. We put our little oval teen lid down. Very faintly, outline your planets. Forgot I was doing two for a minute. Go ahead and remove these so we get an outline. Uh, oh, you wanted me to do pink and purple. Yeah. That's what it was, okay. But do whatever you want. I'm just gonna do pink here, light pink here. Ugh. You need to leave the cans open. It's so hard to open the cans sometimes. And then light purple up here. This is white. There we go. And then we add some dark purple. I hope it's dark purple. Yeah, it is. Add some right there. Move it on top. Cover the whole thing in white. Cover the whole thing in white. Get our newspaper. I definitely like the dabbing method too. You can try the stroke method, but I think it just takes forever. So I like to do this. I think it's really cool. Some over here. Let me see if that matches the size I want. Yeah, okay. Now we're gonna do some more. Highlight, get some highlight in there. Nice side strokes. First time we're using black. If there's any black left, get a little bit of shading down there. Yeah, one more, right there. Here we go. Where's the... Ooh. There we go. Did it dry it? my eyelashes off. One can only hope, Abby. Can okay. cover this up? We done. Be done with this one. Put some white on that top. No black on the bottom. Ugh. Why did I put the lid on? Why did I put the lid on, Abby? I don't know. Put the thing on again. I just put the lid on again. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Always line it up. Make sure it's the one you want. Cool. Yay! Cool, cool. Now, cover the whole thing in black. This one's way better. Really quick movements. You do not want pulled paint. Pulled paint is very bad. As we learned yesterday. Cool. Just 
play around with it a little bit. Tell well, you that what was a good she got. One. Yeah, yeah. It's because I'm a master. <laughs> okay. Make sure it works. Direct it at the plate. Really light. We need to do stars. Where's my white? Are you going to add any moon Where's stuff? Where's my white? Um, no. Because the moon's white, so it doesn't need... <laughs> this is not white! <laughs> it's not white! <laughs> Dang it. This is why it's important to keep your uh, colors with their lids near you. So for stars, it's really important. I'm going straight down. Don't go right here. You're going to leave streaks like an idiot. <laughs> don't do that. They're just shooting stars. Yes, but you don't want shooting stars in your galaxy. <laughs> I did burn it a little bit here. That's my mistake. But Bob Ross once said, we don't make mistakes, we make happy accidents. The reveal! Dun, dun, dun. This is my most nerve-wracking part, shall we? <gasps> there's, no. there's our moon. Oh no! <gasps> Dang! And that is how you do a spray paint art thing. Alrighty, so we are here with Abby now. She's gonna do Smiling a spray paint. Over this, but you didn't see it. I just can't see your smile. She's made her outline. She's going in with her white, and then she's gonna go in with her black. She's just doing a big moon. She's going in with the white again. Ooh, that made like a nice dusty effect. That'll be interesting when you fade it. Going in with her newspaper. Are you gonna use the swipe or the dab? The dab. The swipe is just too difficult. The swipe. I feel like I have the wrong gloves for the swipe because the swipe, like your gloves, kind of stick to the newspaper. Oh wow! Look at that texture. Very nice. Yeah. Make sure to like turn it around so you can get some fresh paint on that newspaper. Yes, girl. That's what I like about textures, is like, you keep going until you're satisfied with it. Like, dab as much as you want. Okay. Dab on them haters. <laughs> okay. We're gonna add some shadows, it looks like? Yep. Yeah. That's pretty good. And highlight. Circular motion. Ooh, that was nice wrist movement. Do it close to the nozzle. Close to the painting. Yes. There you go. I think... I think you touched it. I don't know, should I do it again? You can do it again. Close to the nozzle, close to the painting. Yes, you got it that time. You hey. got it. Don't push it down. <laughs> you do not push down on your painting. <laughs> One thing Abby's making sure she's doing that I forgot, is making, making sure that you paint right in this crevice because if you forget to paint in here, you're gonna have a little bit of a cloudy effect on um, the edge of your planet, which is fine. It kind of looks like an atmosphere. I think you got it. Maybe a little bit right here. Stars! I'm excited. Yeah, just... Stars flick. That flick is important when you're making stars because if you have too much on your fingers, it'll uh, make huge dot stars that aren't really realistic. Versus when you do a little flick, um, you get more big and little stars. So spray it on your fingers, flick it, and then make your stars. Like that. Isn't spray painting so fun? It's so fun. And satisfying. Oh, when you take those pans off. Oh, that's my favorite more. part. Oh no. Oh. Ooh. Look at that. Look at your moon, girl. It looks good. I like it. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Uh, are you so happy with it? Mm-hmm. Let's, let's go to our yesterday's drawings and compare them. All right, so yesterday this is the one Abby and I, when we did our uh, paintings, this is the first one I did. I noticed that this had a lot of Something's wrong here. So I, we came to the conclusion that we were probably, you still have your mask on. <laughs> we came to the conclusion that, uh, that the paint wasn't dry. So when we put our pans on, it was ripping the paint up from our highlights and shadows. And then today, uh, we got some up here, but I think the problem with this is I was at this angle spraying. So when I was at this angle, I definitely got all these areas, but I should have come around and sprayed up here as well. Um, but that's okay, it's like an atmosphere thing. I uh, like the textures. It bubbled right here just a little bit because I think I went overboard with the fire. How can you not? It's I know, it's fun. But as you can see, compared to this and then these edges, oh, it's so much better. 
so much better. So I think you really just have to dry it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I definitely, I'm way happier with my second attempt but than my first. have parent supervision. Yes, we have parent supervision, obviously. <laughs> just kidding, we're both adults, it's okay. We're true, but we're by a pool. So yeah, there's a pool there, so we're good. Anyway, let's go to Abby's. And Abby can talk about what she liked. Okay. Once again, we have the same problem with mine because we didn't dry it because we were afraid to play with fire. I didn't even know about fire. This one I played with purple and this one I just wanted like black and white for more of a moon effect, but yeah. I definitely like your moon. I like the simplicity of the moon because yeah. it's not like, like here you can't see the planet a little bit, but the whole moon, you can see it perfectly. Plus I really like the stars. small stars. Yeah. So this was the first painting I ever did and- You have a lot I, of space. Yeah, I didn't flick as hard, yeah. but with this one, if you flick harder, wow. you better stars. Yeah, look at look at all this spacing in these stars and look at the difference. Yeah. That's amazing. I'm happy. All right. If you guys want to go ahead and make spray paint art of your own, just keep in mind that your first one won't be perfect. I'll put up a photo of my first one I ever did. It was on a canvas, which isn't even the material, the um, board you're supposed to use. So, and I've definitely had my mistakes with other ones as far as highlighting and you'll just get used to it and you'll get more into it and then you'll end up making something like these. So just keep with it and it's fun and you get to be rebellious, so. <laughs> All right, so leave a like if you enjoyed, comment if you wanna see me do other spray paint um, tutorials and pieces. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, <laughs> if you're not subscribed, you need to be. That's all we have for you guys, just making the spray paint art and showing you how I do it so now your questions are answered. Uh, it's basically like a walkthrough, so yeah, that's that's all. We'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's so many matches. Can you just light it? I'm trying! <laughs> <laughs> don't look at her, don't look at my mom. <laughs> don't look at her. She's gonna come out, oh my god. Hurry up, Abby, she's gonna come out. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can! Spray.